When sectioning normal shark vertebrae, a small isomet saw is typically used. The vertebra is retained in a chuck and cut along the vertical plane using two blades. The cut is made perpendicular to the hemal arch. This cut produces a bow tie shaped section which is then used to view the annuli. Most labs are not equipped with saws capable of cutting large shark vertebrae, such as whale shark and basking shark. To overcome this problem, we suggest using a large bandsaw and a custom made chuck to support the vertebra as it is sectioned. The bandsaw shown is a Dual Sawing Products vertical contour saw and uses a bimetal blade with 14 teeth per, per inch. The custom chuck is made from two pieces of industrial plastic, a 30 centimeter square base and a 30 by 10 centimeter upper plate. Two bolts are threaded into the base plate to act as retainers. Place the frozen vertebra in the custom made chuck and tighten the retaining nuts. Make sure the core of the vertebra hangs out just over the edge of the chuck. You want this free so that the blade will pass through without cutting into the chuck. Depending on the saw, a guide will have to be used to keep the cut straight. A guide that connects to the table of the saw is used in this example. The far edge of the chuck will slide along the guide bar as it cuts, keeping the cut symmetrical. If this is your first time trying this procedure, make a test cut away from the core near the edge to test the thickness of your cut. This side of the vertebra won't be used for aging, so you can practice adjusting the guide to get the desired thickness of, thickness of your sections. Be sure to always use caution when working with bare hands around the blade of the bandsaw. You'll want to cut the sections at least 1 to 1.5 millimeters in thickness. Be sure to take into account the thickness of the blade as well when you're calculating this measurement. While cutting, push the vertebra at a steady, even pace. You will have to manually adjust the guide each time a new cut is made. We use a pair of dial indicators to measure the adjustments. After you have a good test cut and the desired thickness, line up the vertebra by eye, as shown, with the core just to the left of the blade. Make the first cut to the right and away from the core to remove the outer piece of the vertebra. Continue cutting, adjusting the saw guide incrementally each time and make three to four cuts through the core. You should be able to make one of the cuts directly through the center of the vertebra. Use care when handling the thin sections as they can be easily broken. It's also good to keep track of the sequence of the sections cut by marking or labeling them in some way. The section will look dirty after the cut, but the majority of this can be cleaned up with some distilled water and a soft toothbrush. Gently scrub the dirt and loose particles off the vertebra before imaging. Set up a digital SLR or single lens reflex camera of at least 8 megapixel or higher on a tripod or camera stand. The camera should be about 30 centimeters above a lab bench or a table. Line a small pan with black felt or some other black fabric and place directly below the camera. If using a tripod, this is best done on the corner of a lab bench or table. Place the vertebra section in the pan and add enough 95% ethanol to fully cover the section. The section cannot be imaged without being covered with fluid. You can use small weights to hold the center of the vertebra down while you image it. The black felt will provide contrast to the light colored vert. Frame the image so that the vertebra fills the field of view. The image of the section has to be in perfect focus by the camera. Image enhancement will be done later, so don't be concerned if the growth bands are not clearly visible, especially along the corpus calcarium, the area near the edge where the vertebra will be aged. Due to the large windows in this particular setting, natural light is sufficient, but you can use a fiber optic lighting source set at oblique angles to light the vertebra for imaging.